Hi, I'm Jazz from Group Technologies and I'm here with Gary at the Sound Devices booth at NAMM 2024. I hear that you've got a lot of new products on offer. I was wondering if you could take us through the new equipment. Yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, so, welcome to the Sound Devices booth. We've got a couple of new products here, some existing product. I'll take you through the new stuff. The first is our Super Nexus receiver. So that's the, the top unit here. Uh, below that is an A20 Opto, uh, which is an expansion chassis for the Super Nexus. These two devices, we're also showing the rear panel. So what you see here, Super Nexus and Opto, here's the Super Nexus rear panel and the Opto rear panel. And so that's our biggest new product announcement. Uh, this is a more full featured version of a Nexus receiver, which we already make. So you can see a Nexus down here. This is an eight channel receiver that's expandable to 16 channels. The Super Nexus starts at 16 channels and can go to 32 channels. Uh, so in expanding to 32 channels, we've also expanded some of the features. One of the things I want to highlight with this is that we are now able to take three pairs of antennas in. So you've got three different filter sets for three different tuning bands with the Super Nexus. So where your Nexus would be 24 meg that you have to pick from, with your Super Nexus you can go all the way up to 72 meg with those three different tuning bands. For both of the receivers, it's still the 169 megahertz to 1525 megahertz tuning range. Uh, and so that means is you've got compatibility worldwide with you know, any of your wireless standards. I know in Australia, you're primarily in the uh, UHF broadcast band, which is going to be 500 megahertz up to about 700 megahertz. So it can tune to anything within there. Uh, the transmitters that we have with it, both a full-size transmitter and a mini transmitter here, uh, these are products that have been out for a while. The transmitters can cover that same wide tuning range as the receivers, so it's a good part of our ecosystem. Um, looking at the back panel of the Super Nexus, you've got your antenna inputs, your three separate antenna inputs. You've got analog output capability, AES3 digital output capability. You've got a MADI output. We've got network connections, and these can be uh, assigned as a Dante digital output, if you'd like, primary and secondary Dante, if you need. Uh, also a control network, and you can assign that to, we've got RG45 copper network ports, and we've got SFPs for fiber optic transceivers if you need long distance network connections. So a lot of options on the Super Nexus. If you're a Digico console user, the A20 Opto box is gonna be interesting to you because it bolts directly to the Super Nexus uh, receiver, and it adds OptiCore, which for Digico users, that's your main digital audio network for that console system. So those are the two main product announcements. One other thing we're announcing is this A20 Outpost, which is over here. This remotes your Nextlink connection. So if you're familiar with our wireless ecosystem, there's a what we call Nextlink remote data link between these receivers and the transmitters. And if your receiver is mounted, let's say in an equipment rack behind metal doors, where the signal from your Nextlink antennas on the front panel here aren't gonna get to your transmitters, you can remote that outpost out closer to the transmitters, maybe on your stage or whatever your performance area is. And so it increases the capability of your remote control of your transmitters. We are also announcing a guitar interface at the show. So this is the A20 TX transmitter that you might already be familiar with. The guitar cable is a new thing for us. Uh, this guitar cable actually has a circuit board built into it which works to emulate the input of your guitar amplifier or DI box. Uh, what that means is that you can set the input impedance of it to emulate your guitar amp, uh, 100 k ohm, 1 meg ohm, or 10 meg ohm input impedance. Also, if you're very particular about your tone and you say, look, I like it how this sounds when I have a 25-foot cable connected between my guitar and my amplifier, you can take and uh, adjust the capacitance in here, and it's adjustable from one to 60 feet of cable emulation in one foot steps. So we're trying to really maintain the exact same tone that you'd have in a wired setup with our wireless setup. Uh, along with the cable, we're, we've got a new clip option where this turns the clip sideways and adds some traction material to it, so it's very easy to clip right on your guitar clip. You can reverse your display upside down, so the cable just flows right down and plugs right into your guitar. So. It adds really nice guitar functionality to the existing A20TX transmitter. 
And that's all the new products for sound devices. <laughs>